Ganito talaga pag nagkakaedad na. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make this video a bit more natural. This back pain really hurts. Sign of aging. And yes, we have here another mechanical keyboard and wireless gaming mouse from Machinike. Machinike, Machinike, it is a brand from Lazada. Sumikat sila sa Lazada with their uh, gaming laptops and uh, nung nag-release sila ng mga peripherals, nag-reach out sila sa akin to check their products. Sa una, parang hindi ko siya gustong gawin. Unang-una, um, nung sinabi nila ito sa akin last year, mga third quarter or fourth quarter last year, hindi ako naging interested. Kasi ayaw ko na ulit maglabas ng isang budget mechanical keyboard or peripherals or something new in the market tapos mamaya magkakaroon ng mga problema so medyo dalang dala na ako sa mga ganong senaryo na it might sounds na nire-recommend ko yung product though sometimes on those videos naman sinasabi ko rin naman na ito yung mga downsides niya pero eto ngayon yung sasabihin ko sa unang part pala ng video please tapusin yung video and uh, timbangin nyo yung mga sasabihin ko if you will reconsider this na bibilihin from Lazada. And uh, ayun, makikita nyo rin naman sa ibabaw pala ng kanyang keycaps how uh, medyo worn out na rin siya ng konti. So sobrang tagal ko na rin siyang hawak. Kaya I now reconsider to show this on this channel. And yes, let's find out more about this gaming mouse and mechanical keyboard. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCD Key, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. Uh, sign up sa kanilang website. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, maa-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Siyempre, uunahin muna natin yung mechanical keyboard. Saka na yung gaming mouse. And siyempre, out of the box, sa totoo lang, hindi ko siya na-appreciate. Pagtingin ko, ang pangit ng mechanical keyboard. Kasi, napaka-busy niya tingnan. At the same time, yung trend nowadays na uh, a bit minimalist or a bit uh, clean pag tech, eh, hindi ko nakita dito. Pagkabukas ko ng box. Pero, habang tinititigan ko yung mechanical keyboard, I noticed something and then of course I checked their website na yung website nila is ang hirap ding i-browse. You need to have Google Translator para maintindihan mo yung mga naka-link uh, doon or kung anong sub-menu ka pupunta dahil nga po Chinese. So this is I think from mainland China with I don't know OEM. Yun din yung isang rason kung bakit ayaw ko talaga siyang i-review in the first place. Pero ayun nga habang tinititigan ko siya nakita ko agad yung sporty looks. Oops, teka lang ha, parang headlight to ng ano, Mitsubishi Lancer or Lancer Evo. So, tinignan ko na kagad yung likod. And yun nga, para lang din siyang uh, re-review ng isang sports car. So, this is a sports car inspired in terms of design. So, meron siya ditong akala mo restressed, pero actually hindi siya functional as restressed unless sobrang liit nung kamay mo. Siguro, ito yung gusto nilang i-highlight na parang yung hood nung mismo sports car or sedan car. Ganun. Well, since this is a budget mechanical keyboard, let's make it very real quick since most of the budget mechanical keyboards halos pare-parehas yung mga uh, features or almost identical. Meron siyang uh, blue switch Yung nakuha ko ngayon is a blue clicky switch with a not so familiar uh, brand ng uh, switch. I don't know what's the OEM of this switch. It's not Otemu or uh, Gateron 
So, medyo nakakaduda din talaga na magtatagal ba. So, yun yung dahilan kung bakit ko ito ginamit for 3 months. And as you can see, yung kanyang keycaps is ABS plastic double shot. Kaya, mapapansin nyo na medyo shiny na yung mga ibabaw ng uh, keycaps. And then, dito sa kanyang uh, side, magkikita nyo na meron ding label ng Matcha Nike. Umiilaw lahat yan. And this is a variant na dual mode. You can use it as wireless at the same time wired with uh, USB Type-C uh, port and then switch to shift sa Bluetooth mode and compatible po siya for both Android, Windows, and Mac OS. Meron siyang wheel for volume, I think, nung una, pero actually for lighting activity lang po pala siya. Pero at the same time, you can also shift from different colors dito sa uh, kanyang arrow keys by just uh, pressing FN and then yung left arrow. Same with the FN plus F5 and F6 kung gusto mo namang hinaan yung ilaw at lakasan yung ilaw or totally turn off the light if you want uh, longevity in terms of the battery life. Dahil ang kanyang battery life is 2000 mAh which is really uh, good enough for a uh, uh, peripherals na mechanical keyboard. Uh, sometimes they may say it's a bit uh, sobrang laki, pero given that this is an RGB mechanical keyboard, well, it's just good enough for me. Pero kung ito turn off mo talaga yung kanyang uh, ilaw, then 2000 mAh is really well above average. Uh, well, to add more details in terms of durability, mahirap din siyang i-flex kasi dahil partly aluminum yung kanyang body, so, compared sa other budget mechanical keyboards, this is really something uh, very good in terms of build. The design is subjective. Pwede mong ma-appreciate. Car guys may appreciate this. In terms of uh, durability, I may vouch that the 1,800 reviews sa Lazada, where nung tinignan ko yung mga 1-star at saka 2-star reviews niya is more on uh, sa shipping concerns and out-of-the-box uh, issues, Pagdating naman sa mga uh, nakagamit na wala namang nagsasabi doon na hindi nagtagal or hindi uh, nasulit yung mechanical keyboard, if there is some uh, feedback sa na nakita ko siguro, it's more on the part na first time nilang gumamit na mechanical keyboard. Most of the reviews. So, ito yung dahilan kung bakit ko rin siya gustong ipakita. Kasi nga, um, if I will say a statement on this, there will be two uh, feedback. Unang-una, this is an experience review. It's not so much technical. It's more on how did I find this mechanical keyboard for the last three months. Kung first time user ka ng mechanical keyboard, this is really good. Especially that you can have it for both wired and wireless mode. At the same time, ang magasasabi ko kung first time mechanical keyboard ka, it's a good transition. You will really appreciate it. This kind of design, you can just overlook that. Kasi, in terms of build, maganda. Magtatagal siya. Durable siya tingnan. Hindi mo siya na-flex. Pero, if you have been using mechanical keyboards for a while now, and maybe both budget and mainstream uh, brands, you may think na, oops, hindi ko siya nagustuhan kasi... Unang-una yung kanyang switch. Hindi siya hot swappable. The mere fact that this is a budget mechanical keyboard, ang una kasing bibigay, lalong-lalong na kung hindi familiar yung kanyang brand pagdating sa switch, is yung mismong switch. Yan naman yung unang bibigay sa mga mechanical keyboards. And uh, yun yung maganda pag ang isang budget mechanical keyboards is a hot swappable yung kanyang switch. Okay lang, kahit masira ka agad, madali namang magpalit ng switch. Pero problem with this, pag nasira yung switch, magre-resolder ka. And that is, I think, beyond sa mga expected na gagawin ng isang end user na regular user lang ng computer. Unless you are a technician or you have a neighbor who is a technician who can do the soldering for you. Pero being not a hot swappable keyboard, medyo may duda or medyo uh, nahihirapan akong i-recommend for everyone, especially for sa mga uh, budget users. There are other options out there that you may consider na hot swappable yung kanyang switch na ganito rin yung price. 
It's just that hindi siya wireless. Pero um, in terms of gaming, kung gaming lang din talaga, and most of us will be using desktops, I think the wireless mode is not so big din. Pero, yun nga. I think yung pagiging hot swappable niya is na-compromise pagdating sa cost cutting dahil nga isa din siyang wireless mechanical keyboard. So this is, um, kumbaga kung bibilhin mo siya, may konting risk. At the same time, there's something that you may take advantage in terms of portability dahil wireless din siya. Alright? So ayan yung masasabi ko with this mechanical keyboard. And well, before we will move forward, sa mga iba pang details or feedbacks, let's check the wireless mouse. So, same with the mechanical keyboard, car concept din yung kanyang design. So, sa kanyang bandang rear side, makikita mo dyan kagad yung tail light that is a bit similar sa Ford Mustang 2015 or later. And then, sa kanyang harap is like a headlight of villain headlights. I don't know. I'm not so sure, pero this is more of a sports car design. So, as a wireless gaming mouse, uh, medyo mabigat siya compared sa mga competitors. And then, at the same time, yung kanyang design is not friendly pagdating sa mga uh, palm grip uh, users. So, kung claw type ka, well, okay lang. Pero actually, kung ang pag-grip mo ng mouse is paganyan, okay lang. Pero kung ganito, hindi siya comfortable dahil medyo maumbok masyado dito. Supposedly, dapat dito banda mas maumbok then medyo pababa na dito declining na yung kanyang uh, slope dito sa uh, bandang part na to. Kaso lang with this, hindi. Kaya medyo hindi siya comfortable pag hinahawakan ko. Pero ang ginagawa ko na lang, medyo uh, inaatras ko pa yung kamay ko at dito. Ganyan yung pagkakagrip. So, mapapansin nyo, halos dito lang. Hindi siya nailalapat sa mismong palm ko. So, yun. Yung masasabi ko lang with this. The scroll wheel is also not that much responsive. The uh, uh, sensor is okay. It's an entry-level PWM3325. And uh, it's uh, good enough. Gaming mouse, wireless gaming mouse. Okay lang. It's not the best out there. There are still other gaming mouse that you may consider uh, from Logitech, pero uh, with the features, with the design, kung magugustuhan mo, then you may consider it. Pero, ayun niya. Mayroon tayo bang choices pa na mas maganda compared to this at the kind of price point. Yung price point niya. If this will be priced at around 1, $1 or lower, Maybe I may reconsider. Pero I think, pupunta at pupunta rin naman sa ganung pricing. So, if yung pricing neto soon is 1.3 or lower, then you may consider uh, having this. Pero kung mas mataas dun, I think there are other variants na konting dagdag na lang, hundreds na lang is yun na lang bilhin mo. Pero, overall, this both peripherals from Machinik, Machinik is good. The design is really into car guys and yung kanyang uh, uh, price positioning is budget users. There are just some factors Now, if you have been using gaming mouse or gaming mechanical keyboard before, you may reconsider other options. Pero kung first time ka na gumamit ng isang mechanical keyboard at sa isang gaming mouse, then this is one of the options that you may have, especially if you also want to after yung kanyang portability na feature. Well, lastly, for both peripherals, you can download the software from Machinic or Machinic website. Medyo may kahirapan tulad na sinabi ko kanina, you need to have Google Translate. Pero I just link down dito sa ating description below yung link kung saan kayo maghahanap ng mismong uh, utility to control this in terms of uh, dun sa software side. Well, you may also check other channels review. May mga kaibigan tayo dyan na nag-check din in terms of uh, technicalities if you want to go in-depth on these uh, peripherals. Pero uh, for me, it's just the experience review. Not the same on what I did sa mga previous mechanical keyboards that I check on this channel. Lalong-lalo na kung hindi pa ganun kasigurado yung mismong product or this is just an a budget options that uh, flaunts 
yung pagiging mura at the same time sulit. So, kung ganun yung uh, target or show of ng mechanical keyboard, since there are factors like hindi siya hot swappable or uh, hindi ganun kaganda yung response ng kanyang uh, buttons, then I prefer to check dun na lang sa durability side para kahit paano, there is also a reason if you will still consider this na magtatagal din. Yun, durability, longevity. Pero still, it's a hit or miss product and it's up to you if you will risk it. Alright, so that's it guys. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Well, thank you Machinik for allowing me to check your products.